Hey everyone, it's Ginny from Homestead Corner. Today I've got some prepping supplies from Goodwill. to a Goodwill and check over what they have in their hard goods, I am usually pretty excited because most of the time I can find something that I'm looking for for my preps. And you know, different things every time, it's always something different. Sometimes you find a whole bunch of stuff and sometimes not so much. I think it's important to know what you're looking for and know the price of it brand new because I see some stuff in there that unfortunately the Goodwill price is more for a used item than a brand new one. So like I have been looking for a cast iron muffin tin and that's something that I want to add to my preps so I have it. We have a little oven that goes on the wood stove and I would love to have a cast iron muffin tin for that. And But I have I'm not willing to pay the price brand new, not yet. I may after seeing what the used ones go for because I saw one and it needed to be cleaned up. It was definitely used and old, but they wanted $60 for a muffin tin. I actually had to ask someone if it was marked wrong or because <laughs> I could not imagine $60 for a muffin tin. I don't know. Maybe I'm cheap, but... I just couldn't even fathom that it was correct, but it was, it absolutely was. So I guess it's one of those things they don't get in that much and they just mark the crap out of it to get what they can. And hey, that's what business is all about, making money. So, you know, it is what it is. But I think it's a great reminder for everyone to pay attention to prices. Um, what is it gonna cost you new to buy it? And what are you willing to pay used? Some people are willing to pay only $5 less for an item if it's used. They'll only knock off $5 and some people won't pay more than half. I personally don't think more than half is appropriate for a used item, but that's me. Everyone is different and it's okay. Set your price point and look for those specific items. I was able to find a couple things that I wanted and a couple things I was actually looking for to add to my preps. So the first thing I found was a rolling pin. And this is, you know, nothing fancy. I have a rolling pin, but it is solid wood. It does not spin or anything like that. And I wanted to add another one. So I have it just in case you never know what's going to happen. So I figured it would be handy to have two anyway, and uh, and the blue stickers were half price, so I landed up only paying like a dollar fifty for this, and I thought it was a really good deal. It looks like it's just been hanging around in someone's drawer for a long time, and knowing how today how people eat so much takeout and stuff, it probably has been hanging around in a drawer. <laughs> we're gonna put it to good use though. I got lots of cooking to do. The next thing I found were these candle lanterns. I found a pair of them and I was not in love with the red color, which it's okay. Um, not particularly, go, doesn't go with my house, but I don't, it's for an emergency. It's what it's for. And it has all the glass in it. And it came with these little battery operated candles which I don't care about, but there's plenty of room to put a three inch pillar in here and it will work perfectly to keep um, a candle nice and safe to use in the living room or anything like that. I like to have candles, I like my oil lamps, depending on where it's placed, where we need the lighting, depends on what I use. So I wanted, I've been looking for a couple of these oil lamps and they run, around $20 for a nice metal one, for a decent one that's not real flimsy. And this one is nice and solid. It's The metal's pretty thick on it. Uh, I like, I really like the design of it and it's perfect to put those candles in and then you have got something that's gonna keep them safe and keep everything inside. 
and uh, I paid four dollars yeah for each one of these and they have the little things I actually am going to look for some plant hangers so I can hang these on the wall I thought that would be great for lighting in the living room when the grid is down and um, I'll I don't know these candles still work so we'll put them away for something we'll use them let me just throw those kind of things right on the table it doesn't matter the next thing I found was a little griddle cast iron pan and this did not have a price tag on it when I found it and they sold it to me for five dollars which five dollars I am more than willing to pay for cast iron um, it's got a little bit of surface rust in it but these are so easy to clean up and make new and we will definitely I'll just five minutes and this baby's gonna look brand new a little seasoning in the oven after it'll be great so I'm excited about that perfect for the wood stove campfire oven on top of the stove I just I love cast iron because you can use it in any situation and uh, this is perfect little it's got the little bumps in it so when you cook meat the cook grease kind of is a little bit lower but not much um, but I was excited gotta love cast iron five bucks hey can't beat it and the last thing I found is another thing that I'm always looking for last fall I broke one of my big harvest baskets I broke one of the handles I overweighted it and I have a tendency to do that so I found this big huge basket for it was just a couple dollars what was it, it was six dollars it was half price so three bucks for this big huge basket and I love big baskets to when I am harvesting vegetables anything like that um, herbs herbs are bulky they don't weigh a lot so this is perfect for that you can really put a lot of herbs in here and um, and I just I love having baskets and I broke one of my favorites in the fall because I do get a little wild with it I, I'm like oh yeah I can fit 10 more tomatoes in there and six more cucumbers and it's all heaping over and the next thing you know one of the handles breaks and you know I use five gallon buckets sometimes but the bottom stuff kind of gets squished especially if you're doing like tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff it gets kind of squished on the bottom from all the weight on the top so I like the wide wide baskets for harvesting stuff um, that way there's not lots of layers of it on top it doesn't squish the bottom layer but that is it we have found tons tons of prepping supplies at Goodwill they usually have wool blankets I didn't see any this time but you can usually get them super duper cheap because a lot of people don't love wool because it's not soft and but they are so warm and they wick the water and they are just I love wool blankets even if it's got a hole in it it doesn't matter they can be patched um, if you can get them cheap enough I don't mind putting a little bit of work into it like this I gotta put a little work into it but for five bucks I don't mind at all and uh, so there are tons of prepping supplies to find there just keep your eye out whatever you're looking for we have found crutches canes um, all kinds of cast iron bakeware anything like that radios flashlights tons of stuff once in a while you can find like a little solar radio or something which is nice but so we always whenever I see a thrift store I am you know stop stop <laughs> I must go look <laughs> because you can save a ton of money and get the items that you need and want for your supplies but that's it if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye